With the popularity of video games like Cuphead and Bindi and the Ink Machine, early American animation is rising in popularity. Among their ranks, few survive as anything other than characters to put on merchandise, and some have fallen into even greater obscurity. The creative license their animators were given in this emerging genre meant that, when these cartoons went Halloween, they went all out. In this very special holiday episode, we'll explore some of these grand old classics. We'll start our Halloween treats with a few cartoons from Max Fletcher's impressive archive, though credit for the combination of sound and animation often goes to Steamboat Willie and Disney. Fletcher was the real pioneer. Some of Fletcher Studios cartoons watched like a particularly well soundtracked fever dream. The movement of the characters is fluid and boneless, and the cause and effect inside the cartoons lives somewhere in the uncanny valley. This animation wasn't for children, or rather, it wasn't sanitized. Betty Boop was sometimes a woman and sometimes a French poodle. Bimba the dog had morals that were questionable at best, and the world they lived in was gritty and absurd. The music, though, was wonderful. For our first pair of Halloween cartoons, we'll be visiting that world, and you'll see for yourself if you want to be a member. We are the members of Do It or Die. D I D I D I. What is like bimbo as easy as pie? D I D I D I. We are tough, you bet. Filled with college pep. Bring him on, we cry. D I D I D I. B I M B O. Bimbo. <laughs> Wanna be a member? Wanna be a member? No. There's the way out. I've got 
got a bone to pick with you. Made a pan and me, she can win you with a wing. Ain't she cute? Sweet fatty. Magic mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? You're the fairest in the land. You're the fairest in the land. I want to see my stepmama, stepmama, stepmama. I want to see my stepmama, my stepmama, the queen. What it says is so. Magic 
great mirror in my hand. Who's the fairest in the land? You're the fairest in the land. You're the fairest in the land. <laughs> Off with her head. Okay, Queen. <laughs> what a shame. Poor Betty. Were you white hide my face? <laughs> I got those same jeans in very
Felix the Cat's original silent cartoons were slightly more than animated comic strips, with a much more feline Felix. He was created by Otto Mesmer and Pat Sullivan, and like Bimbo the Dog, Felix's almost cubist world was inspired by a popular art style of the time. Unsurprisingly, Felix made a transition to comics after his on-screen popularity and enjoyed his time there until the 50s, when he was revamped into the Felix we know today. He was also the first to get his foot in several doors, from being the first official cartoon mascot of an Air Force unit to being the first image transmitted over television. Now let's see what happens when he sets a foot on a grave. Thank you. 
as pre-movie cartoon shorts made way for televised animated series, many of the early animated companies had to change the way they worked. Sometimes this meant letting old characters go by the wayside, and other times it meant folding all together. Either way, the works they left behind are more than worthy of a good look through. If you're interested in finding other early American cartoons, I would suggest websites such as archive.org to help you in your search. Best of luck and a very happy Halloween from Curio Cabinet.